Wavy TV is proud to salute partners on your side. Farm Fresh, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, Langley Federal Credit Union, and EVMS Health Services. Wavy News 10 looks back on 2006 with a special primetime television event. We cover the stories that sent shockwave through Hampton Roads. A year on your side, 2006. Ten on Your Side was very busy this year, covering and uncovering stories that impacted you and your family. It's really hard to believe another year has passed. Ten on Your Side investigated, exposed the truth, and was live to bring you breaking news coverage. Welcome to this year's Ten on Your Side special. Sit back and relax. Here's a sneak peek at A Year on Your Side 2006. <laughs> Uh, waist high, maybe coming up to the chest by now. It's real ugly back there. Yeah, this is a precarious situation. Cardi, turn around! I your side of the story about what's going on. <laughs> Saga of Oceana continues. We need to get our priorities in line. Real shock to the thousands of workers here. Something this awesome, this awe-inspiring, has an incredible impact on any area of the world that it's in. When we look back, the war in Iraq dominated the news in 2006. Since the war began in 2003, close to 3,000 men and women have been killed, more than 21,000 injured, and an estimated $349 billion have been spent fighting the war. The war in Iraq was clearly a key factor in this November's election, and this year's election really changed everything. In a very tight race, Virginia Democrat Jim Webb won the Senate race, defeating incumbent Republican Senator George Allen. The Democrats took the House and Senate a majority for the first time in about 12 years. This historic year in Virginia politics began on January 14th. More than 5,000 people sloshed through the wettest inauguration in memory as Tim Kaine was sworn in as Virginia's 70th governor. For the first time, an African-American administered the oath, State Supreme Court Justice Leroy Hassell of Norfolk. And for the first time in 227 years, the ceremony took place in Colonial Williamsburg as renovations at the state capitol continue in Richmond. In his 15-minute speech, Kaine pledged to do something about Virginia's transportation problems. I pledge that my administration will begin immediately and work urgently to address the transportation dilemma that complicates our lives and threatens our prosperity. But the plan never got out of first gear in the General Assembly. The Republican-controlled legislature stymied Kane's plans for a comprehensive spending plan for long-term transportation needs, even after a special session in September. Kane blamed Republicans. Virginians, you know, deserve uh, a legislature that will take it seriously enough to get the job done. Some Republicans blamed other Republicans. Well, it reflects poorly on us. Now, Kane is raising millions in campaign money to try and win control of the General Assembly from Republicans next year, the way Democrats won control of Congress in November. On uh, Wednesday morning, the White House is going to wake up and look over to the Capitol building and say, we got a problem. The most stunning political win of the year in Virginia was by Jim Webb over incumbent Senator George Allen. Webb is a former Republican Navy secretary, turned Democrat and novelist. Webb's son is a Marine serving in Iraq, and Webb wore his son's old combat boots on the campaign trail, continually calling for a change of course in the Iraq war. We need to say we're going to have no permanent bases in Iraq. We need to get a diplomatic solution on the table. We need to get our combat troops out, and we can do that and still win the war on international terrorism. Allen suffered a political meltdown over one word. Makaka, or whatever his name is. In some cultures, that word is considered a racial slur. Allen never fully recovered and lost a close race. He bowed out, political stage right, rather than fight a divisive recount. One Democrat who did not ride the wave to victory is beat Commissioner of the Revenue Phil Kellum. His position on the Iraq war closely mirrored that of the president and his opponent, incumbent Thelma Drake. Drake won two more years in Washington. 
2007 will be another interesting year in politics. Just this month, control of the Senate went into limbo once again. The balance of power could shift if Democratic Senator Tim Johnson does not recover from brain surgery to continue in his role. Plus, Robert Gates was confirmed on December 18th as the new defense secretary, replacing Donald Rumsfeld. Gates says he plans to lead the president in a new direction with the war in Iraq. In 2006, 10 on your side was the station you could count on to bring you live breaking news stories. Stories that certainly matter to you from the Ford plant closing, continuing coverage of BRAC to live breaking news of raging wildfires. And David Nelson explains we were there to cover it all. It was a year in which the Norfolk Ford plant hit the brakes. Ford Motor Company is closing the Norfolk plant. This announcement came as a real shock to the thousands of workers here. When you think about it, generation after generation in some families have worked here, and now they're left scrambling, wondering what's next. The saga of Oceana continues. Our top story tonight, Pentagon officials reject Virginia Beach's plan for NAS Oceana. Worries that Oceana would fly the coop after the Pentagon clipped Virginia Beach's wings. We worked for eight months to come up with an excellent plan that would provide for all of the things that uh, the BRAC felt they wanted. They're feeling like it was gusting to 60 or 70 out here, and that's the reason why the tarp tent went over it. A soaking by a destructive storm with an odd name. Ernesto sank parts of Hampton Roads. Yeah, this is a precarious situation. There is a fire burning right now, and actually that's why I'm going to be... In March, Gloucester County began to burn. Conditions are just so dry, it flares up almost immediately. Hundreds of acres devoured over several days. No one around here ever thought they would witness a plane crash in their own neighborhood. Virginia Beach, mid-July. A small plane crashed into a backyard three minutes after takeoff. Florida couple George Shell and Judy Broadway were on board. I just knew that the two dogs and George and Judy were all together and they had all died. Witnesses say the plane was shaking and flying slowly just before it went down. I'm sure there are going to be some uh, some changes made and some policies looked at. Jackson, North Carolina, a shooting at the Northampton County Courthouse. The sheriff says deputies knew murder defendant Willie Forrest was a threat and they followed protocol. But Forrest grabbed an officer's gun, bullets pierced the ceiling, roof, and an officer's shoulder. It ended when a deputy shot and killed Forrest. Norfolk police also say there were multiple witnesses who saw the officer get shot. The community mourns the death of Officer Seneca Darden. He responded to chaos in Young Terrace. Two people shot, reports of a suspect at large. Darden was in plain clothes. Amid the confusion, another officer shot and killed him. Darden became the fourth officer in five years to lose his life in the line of duty in Norfolk. With 2007 just days away, you can rest assured 10 on your side will be there for you. We are just getting started. Coming up a little later, when fighting forced thousands of Americans to evacuate Lebanon, our local troops were called into action. And 10 on your side made you an eyewitness to it all. But first, we'll take you outside to Chopper 10. No one gets you closer. Next. Right now at Green Gifford's premier event, take advantage of the best incentives on 2006's all year. It's all about the best at Green Gifford Chrysler Jeep Dodge near the airport, Norfolk. This New Year's, we're creating some fireworks at Value City Furniture. In fact, we're cutting prices in every department. Don't miss the New Year's sale through Monday at Value City Furniture. By the time this commercial is over, the tax laws will have changed again. Log on to Wavy.com for expert advice from Jackson Hewitt, Wavy TV's expert on your side. As I stand here in the middle of Farm Fresh, surrounded by food, there are many people in Hampton Roads who are hungry. Hunger is a year-round problem that sadly is growing. But with your help, there is a solution. While you're shopping at Farm Fresh today, buy a few items tagged most needed for the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank. Then place them in the collection bin. Or you can buy a prepackaged grocery bag. Together we can fight hunger. Farm Fresh, your community-minded store. Don't let the year end without seeing our bold new lineup at the Dodge Premier Event. The all-new Nitro is pumping adrenaline alongside the fuel-efficient new Dodge Caliber. They join Dodge Magnum and Charger, both with available electronic stability program. And Grand Caravan with stow-and-go seating and storage. 
Before the year's over, get $4,000 cash allowance on Grand Caravan or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. Check out Caravan and the entire Dodge lineup before the year is over. When news is breaking, our crews jump into action. This is where it all starts. Over the past few minutes, we've taken a look back at the stories that had a major impact on Hampton Roads this year. Now, 10 on your side, Peninsula Bureau reporter Leon Moore shows us the big stories of 2006 on the peninsula. It's real bad. A real bad start to the school year for some 60 students at Christopher Newport University. And it's my apartment. <laughs> I can see it right now and it's burned down. Flames devoured Madison Hall, their $15.5 million home away from home. Fire officials say lightning started the fire. And it hit the building. It shook everything. On a cold rainy day in October, hundreds packed the Northrop Grumman shipyard in Newport News. The commander in chief Former President and Navy fighter pilot George H.W. Bush was on hand to watch the christening of the Navy's newest flat top named in his honor. I christen the United States ship George H.W. Bush. May God bless all who sail her. The VIP list of those in attendance resembled a who's who in American government. President George Bush, retired General Colin Powell, and Virginia Governor Tim Kaine. This is magnificent, and these shipbuilders are the best that the United States could possibly have, and I salute every single one of you. Earlier this year, the NCAA ruffled plenty of feathers at the College of William and Mary. The organization banned the school's athletic logo, saying it's offensive to some Native Americans. We are told the college will not fight the ruling in court. Me and my daughters are going to take the step forward, move on with our life. A difficult task for Tracy Hardin and his two young daughters. In June, Hampton police say a 14-year-old and a 12-year-old stole a Jeep from this Zoom's convenience store. Police say the 14-year-old was behind the wheel when he lost control, plowing into the Hart's living room, killing Tracy's wife, Michelle. And we're going to rebuild here at our home because I think that's what my wife would want. Prosecutors are going to try the 14-year-old as an adult. Whether on the peninsula, south side, or North Carolina, you can count on 10 on your side to bring you the very best news coverage. And of course, no one gets you closer than our very own Chopper Tim. 2006 was no exception. From flooded neighborhoods, a search and rescue, to traffic jams, Chopper 10 was there high above it all. Adam Owens has more. The view from up here in Chopper 10 never gets boring, and this year has been no exception. This news crew in the air has seen fire, and they've seen rain in 2006. There's a lot of water yet to come down this direction. It's outside its banks. It's only going to get worse. We'll keep you updated. And man, there was plenty of it in Franklin back in October. For businesses downtown, a nor'easter was one tough customer. I didn't think it was going to flood like this. We bought the lid. Chopper 10 was high and dry as water rose in Smithfield as well. Escape routes closed off fast. The only way to know where to turn was Chopper 10. It's just uh, water being pushed back up into the Smithfield area. Then countless times in 06, when things really heated up, Chopper 10 often spotted the smoke signals before the water hoses arrived. Good Lord, that's a big fire. And a few times this year, your Chopper 10 crew found themselves in the eerie position of covering other pilots in trouble. In April, an emergency belly landing in the city of Norfolk, and in Carolina country in July, this plane clipped a power line before landing. Both pilots were okay. Chopper 10 also took us to heartbreak and heroism on our highways. The death of a 23-year-old man when his SUV plunged off the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. And the firefighter who saved two lives in a fiery crash on the Monitor Merrimack Bridge Tunnel. The newest technology in Chopper 10 are these night vision goggles. It makes it official and undeniable. Even in pitch darkness, there is no place this bird can't find the news. Even if some of our embarrassed newsmakers don't want to be found. And be advised, we do have them in sight now. We do have them in sight. Like that New York police officer that had to be rescued from the Great Dismal Swamp. After looking for hours, searchers found him and so did our cameras. He got out just fine, but not before getting on the news. And how about this crane that seems to be doing more bad than good for the building it's working on? Chopper 10 found it lying over, sleeping on the job. It's been another year in the sky. Another year of proving no matter where it happens or when it happens, Chopper 10 brings you the news as it happens. 
no one gets you closer. Adam Owens, Wavy News 10. In 2006, Chopper 10 flew 5,000 miles and used 18,000 gallons of gas. And in 2007, you can count on 10 on your side to bring you coverage you can count on. Wavy News 10 is dedicated to making sure you get all your day's news, and not just by watching television. We have taken our coverage of the world around you into the computer age. Now you can get all your day's news right online. This past summer, Tell on Your Side launched its first online live webcast, so you can get the coverage you can count on live, right from your computer. We take you right to the action with live, continuous, and in-depth coverage of events you want to see. The christening of a new ship, election coverage with up-to-the-minute results, and storm coverage like no other. We're on your side with 24 hours a day coverage at wavy.com. Coming up a little later. Just uh, very happy that I got the money and that uh, y'all were able to help out. That's what 10 on your side is all about. But first, Hampton Roads braced for extreme weather. 10 on your side was there through it all. Those stories next. Seen the headlines. Priority bought the Mazda dealership at Greenbrier. Now it's Priority Mazda and we're open for business. Priority is selling all leftover Mazdas with discounts as high as $7,000 because we bought them from the old dealership. We've got plenty of everything Mazda makes. Dozens of CX-7s in stock and a huge supply of the most popular Mazda, the Mazda 3. You can actually buy a new 2007 Mazda 3 for a little over $13,000. So come on in and test drive a new Mazda and save. New Priority Mazda, South Military Highway at Greenbrier. As a leader in the medical community, EVMS Health Services continues to break new ground in healthcare with women's health, radiotherapy procedures, advanced treatment of diabetes, minimally invasive surgery, and trauma and critical care. As an extension of our commitment to provide quality care that is innovative and timely, EVMS Health Services is partnering with Wavy to expand upon our efforts in Hampton Roads. From the care of our patients to the care of our community. EVMS Health Services is proud to join Wavy TV 10 as partners on your side. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service owes a great deal of our success to the people of Hampton Roads. And in order to give back to the community we serve, we continue to work with Wavy TV 10 as a partner on your side. Every year we collect thousands of coats and school supplies for children in need. We encourage the good doing of our youth. We pay tribute to outstanding volunteers. And in the face of the unexpected, we do whatever we can to help. And as a proud member of our community, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service looks forward to joining Wavy TV 10 for yet another year as a partner on your side. Welcome back to A Year on Your Side 2006. If you've spent any time in Hampton Roads, you know the weather here can be quite extreme. Remember this a few days ago, it was just 70 degrees. Certainly not the winter weather you would imagine. From snow to rain to preparing for hurricanes, our meteorologists were there to keep you safe and ahead of the storm. Meteorologist John Cash shows you the extreme weather of 2006. 2006, the year of weather extremes in Hampton Roads. A winter snowstorm, a record spring drought, a soggy summer start, a tropical storm, and back to back nor'easters in the fall. Super Doppler 10 Live, what's going on through the region? We are seeing uh, some fairly heavy rain. The Super Doppler 10 weather team was on your side morning, noon, and night. Even with snow to start 2006, January turned out to be the 12th warmest on record in Norfolk. With the wind, low humidity, and then almost no, no precipitation whatsoever. A record dry spell would follow, and into March, brush fires popped up across the area. The month of June turned into the wettest Norfolk had ever seen, along with a visit from Tropical Storm Alberto. The Super Doppler 10 weather team asked if you were ready. We have to depend on ourselves. We have to be self-sufficient. We showed you how to stay safe and secure in our hurricane special. But with a sluggish start to hurricane season, even Tropical Storm Burl gave no relief to a scorching July and August. We lost 
everything. Come September, Tropical Storm Ernesto trampled through with a Labor Day washout. Fierce flooding and strong winds, Ernesto also took two lives in Gloucester. This time I was able to get a lot of my machinery and tools out. Folks in Franklin relived a nightmare most thought they'd never see again. A powerful nor'easter forced the nearby Blackwater River to flood into homes and businesses. The day before Thanksgiving, Hampton Roads was socked with another nor'easter. While the 2006 hurricane season didn't deliver the punch predicted, you told us that being better prepared certainly gave peace of mind for when the next storm hits. Forecasters already think next year's season will be tougher. Count on 10 on your side to always keep you ahead of the storm. 10 on your side doesn't just show you what's going on when severe weather strikes. We let you tell the story. We were right there with you as Ernesto and back-to-back -back nor'easters flooded most of the area. Here's Chief Meteorologist Don Slater with more. Homes and hopes were destroyed when Ernesto blew through Labor Day weekend. Y'all got your keys. First, the frightening moments in North Carolina as floodwaters moved in. So did the National Guard to save lives. It's going to be all right. One, two, three. I was asleep and the, the water just stuck coming in. Water was lined up and I started screaming for the girls to wake up. That's when I told them, go next door, see if you use the phone. I tried to use our phone, but it had done flooded out, I guess. It's, it, it cut off. Ernesto put life on hold when the water rose in Hampton Roads, especially at the city line and Mariner's Green Apartments in Newport News. The water in the apartment, inside the apartment is about knee high. If you walk around the backside, it's about waist high, maybe coming up to the chest by now. So it's, it's getting kind of, it's real ugly back there. At 6.30 a.m., it was, the parking lot was all clear. It was raining. By 9.30, 10 o'clock, it was coming up to the door. One after another, rescue workers saved people from their homes. The power of Ernesto also proved deadly. A mother and father killed in Gloucester County. Their two daughters ran for help when a tree crashed on their home. If you get the wind roaring and everything outside, you're going to hear something. If they were sitting there watching TV, they weren't even looking outside. It just, it just came down on them. Ernesto unleashed its wrath on the Virginia Beach oceanfront and on the streets in downtown Norfolk. It just surprised me that it got this deep that fast. From all over Hampton Roads, you sent us your pictures of the storm, sights from your backyard. Ernesto wasn't the only major weather event we'd see in the rest of 2006. Two powerful nor'easters, just weeks apart. First, the people of Franklin and the nightmare they had to relive again with the Blackwater River flooding. Then a Thanksgiving nor'easter dealt a dangerous blow. In 2006, you told us how you weathered the storm. In 2007, 10 on your side will be there again to listen and to help when disaster strikes. 2006 certainly saw some bad weather in Hampton Roads, but nothing like the devastation of Hurricane Katrina down south. So many 10 on your side viewers have continued to lend a helping hand to Katrina's thousands of victims. Mary Kay Melanie takes a look back on the lasting impact Katrina has had here. Katrina destroyed so much, and so many families fled to other states, including Virginia. One local family saw a 10 on your side report about some Katrina evacuees who were living in Hampton and in desperate need of a car. So the Walls family gave the evacuees a brand new minivan. I have two children of my own, and I want them to know it's important to give back. This Hampton University senior says her family home in New Orleans was destroyed, so each semester break she went back home to help out. We gutted out houses, especially for the older people. We tried to get their prescription things back together. Patricia Belt was one of about 15 HU students who rented a van and drove to the Big Easy to help. In August, 10 on your side producer Angela Gundas, a Katrina evacuee herself, went back home to Gulfport in Biloxi, Mississippi. It was the first time she'd been back since she fled after the hurricane. My heart's kind of in my throat right now because this is, this is the hardest part. Angela found the only thing left of her house was this slab of concrete. Exactly six months after Katrina hit, I traveled back to New Orleans with photojournalist Joel Hilton. We visited the hard-hit Ninth Ward and were stunned at what we saw, mountains of debris and still trapped inside hundreds of bodies. It's sad because 
It's just like it, they're forgetting us down here and they're helping other places and it's the worst hit area. We left wondering how much longer can these people hang on when there's nothing to hang on to but hope. I'm Mary Kay Maloney, 10 on your side. In 2007, as the Gulf Coast continues to rebuild, Ted on your side will be there to show you the progress. Straight ahead, from claims of disabled discrimination to racial discrimination, Ted on your side goes undercover to investigate your complaints. See how we get you answers next. Plus, protecting you and your children. Up next, a local teen fights to cure his cancer his way. We're on your side with the big health stories of the year. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service owes a great deal of our success to the people of Hampton Roads. And in order to give back to the community we serve, we continue to work with Wavy TV 10 as a partner on your side. Every year we collect thousands of coats and school supplies for children in need. We encourage the good doing of our youth. We pay tribute to outstanding volunteers. And in the face of the unexpected, we do whatever we can to help. And as a proud member of our community, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service looks forward to joining Wavy TV 10 for yet another year as a partner on your side. As a leader in the medical community, EVMS Health Services continues to break new ground in health care with women's health, radiotherapy procedures, advanced treatment of diabetes, minimally invasive surgery, and trauma and critical care. As an extension of our commitment to provide quality care that is innovative and timely, EVMS Health Services is partnering with Wavy to expand upon our efforts in Hampton Roads. From the care of our patients to the care of our community. EVMS Health Services is proud to join Wavy TV 10 as partners on your side. As the new year begins, Wavy TV 10 wants to remind you we're here for you to tackle any problems, scams, ripoffs, or simple questions you may have. At the start of the school year, 10 on Your Side was there with our back to school series, School Days, helping you and your kids get prepared for the school year. And tonight, Tina Kim shows us other successes. They all started after someone contacted 10 on Your Side. Before and after the flood, 10 on Your Side has been there to help. In Hampton, people wanted the city to pick up their flood-soaked trash. Instead, Hampton dropped off tickets, citing residents for leaving their garbage out too long. I can't imagine them wanting us to keep it in the house or even in their yard close to the house because it's, it, we have kids in this area. After our questions, Hampton City Manager waived the warnings and fines, saying he did not realize the garbage was from flood damage. Make sure you have a plan. You know, what are you going to do if something happens? You know, talk about that plan with your families and everybody. Make sure you have a kit. Even before the downpours, Ted and your side helped you handle any potential hurricane through our preparation guides, telling you where to go, what to keep, and even what to supply for your pet if Fluffy or Fido had to be evacuated. From bad weather to bad deals, Ted and your side also stepped in when consumers called for help. I'm just uh, very happy that I got the money and that uh, y'all were able to help out. David Hatch got his $2,000 back from this jewelry consignment business after 10 on your side called the managers, who ignored the court order but did finally face up to our cameras. He'll have it before the court date. Diantha Harrison came to us when this company, Blue Hippo, continued to take money from her bank account even though she canceled her order for computer equipment. He proceeded to argue with me and said, uh, it's out of my hands. I can't cancel it. But Blue Hippo did cut Hairston a check after we called, and Hairston learned from our research she was not the only one complaining about Blue Hippo. Of the total 805 complaints in at least 36 months, 390 of those were closed in the last 12 months. Wow. We followed the paper trails and even made sure your papers left no trails throughout shredded events. Hundreds of people from the peninsula to the south side came out to get their private documents torn up and permanently trashed, guaranteeing their confidential information did not fall into the wrong hands. Having someone else shred it as opposed to like three weeks of sitting, which has been sitting in the garage for eight years, so obviously I wasn't getting around to doing it. So this was much easier and way more convenient. Look forward to more shredded events in 2007. While the year is ending, 10 on your side's commitment to you definitely is not. Tina Kim, Wavy News 10. If you need 10 on your side's help, you can call our hotline number. That's 673-5310. You can also email us at wavy.com or write us here at the station. When it comes to your health, 10 is on your side, dedicated to bringing you the latest technological advances, new medications, and warnings. In 2006, we helped seniors unscramble the Medicare mess, urged children to get the shots they needed, and profiled one teen who took control of his destiny. 10 on your side medical reporter Stephanie Harris explains. 
This 16-year-old from the Eastern Shore spent most of 2006 fighting for his life and the right to treat cancer his own way. Abraham Cherix's court battle to forego chemotherapy and use alternative medicine thrust him into the national spotlight. I've done extensive research and I've read the testimonies of people who have been cured by alternative medicine. After several months, an Acomac County judge agreed to let Cherrick see a doctor in Mississippi who practices both mainstream and alternative medicine. In November, Cherrick's told Wavy News 10 he is cancer free. It's gone completely now. You can't see it at all whatsoever. Not gone, however, are headaches over Medicare Part D. The government's new prescription drug plan confused many seniors and caught some in a donut hole. That's the point where Medicare stops paying for prescriptions for a while. Many plans are changing in 2007. Good news for those stuck in the donut hole. Bad news in the produce aisle in 2006. Back in September, the FDA recalled all fresh bagged spinach after one person died and more than 150 people in 23 states became ill from E. coli. As investigators narrowed their search for the source to nine farms in California, a NOFA company that packs fresh produce fought to return their Colorado-grown greens to grocery stores. It's a healthy product, it's a clean product, tastes good, and it's one of the items that needs to be back on the market, back out there. Crisp pack owner Paul Battaglia's spinach was clean, but twice in November his fruit tested positive for listeria. He voluntarily recalled it. Parents were called to pick up more than 150 students when a mysterious illness spread like wildfire through College Park Elementary School in Virginia Beach. Everybody was running around with like the surgical gloves on and we didn't know what was going on. The Beach Health Department quickly figured out it was a norovirus, the same kind that's made whole cruise ships full of passengers sick. Workers scrubbed the school from top to bottom. The stomach bug ran its course in a couple of days. Hundreds of parents ran to get their sixth graders immunized after the kids got kicked out of school on December 4th. That was the deadline for a new state law that requires sixth graders to receive Tdap booster shots. The goal is to prevent outbreaks of whooping cough, but enforcing the deadline created an outbreak of another kind. That's our medical reporter Stephanie Harris reporting. Now, it took some kids a few days longer to get their shots, but after a week, we're told nearly all sixth graders were back in class. You can count on 10 on your side to continue to bring you the latest medical news and breakthroughs in 2007. Investigating your concerns and getting answers has kept 10 on your side very busy this year. Our most recent investigation took us to Iraq. Combat helmets are supposed to prevent brain injuries, but we found out the hard hat isn't doing enough. Now an effort is underway to pad the problem and protect our troops. Tell your side's Lori Crouch shows you more of our exclusive investigations. Party! Turn around! Ten on Your Side takes its investigation on the road. We rode along on area school buses to give you a bus driver's point of view from what goes on inside a bus. See the children standing up in the bus in front of her? Yeah. To images Chopper 10 captured high in the sky. You can see kids running to catch the bus, and this driver blows right on by, ignoring the bus's stop sign and flashing lights. Fell for it, hook, line, sinker. 10 on your side wound our way through a twisted tale involving a Navy sailor, a Marine, and this woman, Ashley Elrod. 23-year-old Marine Corporal Justin Huff was murdered by Petty Officer Cooper Jackson, all because Jackson believed Huff raped Elrod, a woman it turns out neither man knew and only Jackson talked to over the phone. Our investigation led us to North Carolina, where Wavy News was the only local station to track her down. Hey, Ashley. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. How about your side of the story about what's going on? I can't. You can't? No, I don't want to be on TV. It's okay. Do you have an attorney somewhere we can call? Um, I'm supposed to call the investigator. Who's your attorney, sweetheart? After working with the Navy for a month, Wavy News was able to get a statement from the Huff family, remembering Huff as a dedicated Marine, loving husband and son, and a man so looking forward to becoming a father. A peek into oceanfront nightlife, another exclusive 10 on your side investigation launched with the help of a viewer. These images, groups of people loitering at a gas station, a man urinating on a sidewalk, crowds spilling into the street. Not the type of behavior city leaders like to see, but these images prompted action and positive change. I am not okay with the fact that my child's not in school. 
Connie Burford's fight to educate her child launched a year-long 10 on your side investigation into special education and the use of a quiet room. This carpeted room within an Accomack County classroom was just one example of Connie's struggles for change she shared with Wavy TV. I glanced out the window and the bridge was separating from the road. A woman's terrifying ride over the Berkeley Bridge. Ten on your side investigated what happened. And finally, the gentleman in the tower, I assume tower, came to the window and holds up a finger like, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. It seemed like forever, and the bridge stopped moving. And how close is too close? We brought you these images of a boat at the bridge just as the trapped SUV speeds away. Coming up a little later. To reach out to the seniors and disabled in our community. In 2006, 10 on your side needed your help and you stepped up in a very big way. I mean, do you think I'm hiding weapons of mass destruction in here? What was it? What's the deal? But first, look what 10 on your side caught on tape. Next. The final days of the Pontiac Red Tag event is the time to find Pontiacs designed with power, impressive fuel economy, and the best coverage in America. And now find them tagged in red. And the price on that tag is the price you pay. The Pontiac Red Tag event. Your last chance to get the best factory to dealer incentives of the year, but only until January 2nd. See some red, save some green. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service owes a great deal of our success to the people of Hampton Roads. And in order to give back to the community we serve, we continue to work with Wavy TV 10 as a partner on your side. Every year we collect thousands of coats and school supplies for children in need. We encourage the good doing of our youth. We pay tribute to outstanding volunteers. And in the face of the unexpected, we do whatever we can to help. And as a proud member of our community, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service looks forward to joining Wavy TV 10 for yet another year as a partner on your side. This is the best time of the year, and it's only at your Toyota dealer. It's Toyota Fong. The perfect time to save on many of the Toyotas you've been wishing for. Drive home an indestructible Tacoma and get 1,000 cash back from Toyota. Buy any award-winning 06 Tundra and get 3,000 cash back from Toyota. Or 0% financing for five years during the model year-end clearance. The Toyotathon year-end sales event. Hurry, time is running out. Welcome back to A Year on Your Side 2006. Some of our most memorable reports began with a phone call or email from you, our viewers. Often they resulted in undercover investigations. It is one of the most powerful tools in the 10 on your side arsenal, whether it was sticking up for the rights of the disabled, warning parents about a possible danger, or uncovering the truth others didn't want you to know. You asked, we answered. 10 on your side's undercover investigations ranged from seeing eye dogs to seeing is believing. In February, we met Steve Banks and his three-year-old lab, Randy. Steve and his friend Mary told us about problems they had getting served at Red City Buffet in Newport News. So we sent our undercover camera along to find out what would happen. The last time I come here, we call you Randy and can bring it. So you're saying we can't eat lunch here because he has a dog? That he uses because he's blind. The problem is that's illegal under the Americans with Disabilities Act, something Ten on Your Side told the restaurant owner who claimed he didn't know the law. I'm, I'm proud right here because, I mean, the girls, she don't know about the law, I mean, this stuff. And the about, guy behind the counter didn't know about the law either? That's true. Also, he don't speak that much English. With the Iraq war raging, military recruiters are under intense pressure. We went undercover to see if they were obeying orders to tone it down. We investigated claims that recruiters simply weren't being truthful. I don't know. So if they go over there, they gonna go over there, leave on a Friday, mm -hmm. chill out on a Saturday, come back on a Sunday. Impossible to go to Iraq on Friday and get back by Sunday. This summer, our investigations heated up again. The parent of an inmate at the Portsmouth City Jail told us an auxiliary deputy was using inmates for his private gain, having them do yard work and pocketing the money. Chopper 10 was overhead and caught it all on tape. Our investigation resulted in the deputy, Matthew Ema, being fired and eventually charged. Another concerned viewer contacted 10 on your side about a Virginia Beach nightclub. 
She claimed the dress code at Kokomo's discriminated against African Americans. And no one said no blacks in the club, but for there to be um, hairstyles such as the braids, twist cornrows, and dreadlocks, that's a majority um, an ethnic and African American hairstyles. We dressed two young men, one African American, one white, and sent them to Kokomo's a few minutes apart. Jason, the white man, had no trouble getting in. But it was a different story with the African American, Wu Bei. No baggies, no oversized shirts, no Tim's. You're saying he can't get in? No. Kim Hines, who originally contacted Ten on Your Side, filed a complaint with the ACLU. We also warned parents about an herb kids may smoke to get high, and we found it for sale at a Norfolk flea market. Well, uh, it comes as uh, 10x, 15x. Several states have banned salvia sales, but Ten on Your Side discovered it is legal in Virginia. In 2007, your Ten on Your Side team will be there to continue to uncover and expose the truth. The Hampton Roads economy was dealt a series of heavy blows in 2006. The threat of Oceana Naval Air Station closing staggered many in Virginia Beach. But then there was the reality of the Ford truck plant shutting down and an aircraft carrier and crew transferring out of Norfolk. Here's Ten on Your Side's Don Roberts with a look at those big stories of 2006 and how they may hit our pocketbooks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, really. It's, it's a shock. You know, shocked by this announcement, stunned. Reaction to the April announcement that Ford planned to close its popular F-150 pickup truck plant in Norfolk. More than 2,200 well-paying jobs would be lost. This region saw some $342 million in economic impact from Ford. More than half the plant's workers decided to take lump sum buyout offers, some getting around $100,000. Ten years from now, 15 years from now, Oceana cannot be the future of Navy aviation. And with that, the Base Realignment and Closure Commission recommended closing Oceana and sending its eight squadrons of F-18 jets flying out of Virginia Beach, possibly to Florida. That sent shockwaves through the beach. Oceana's 12,000 military and civilian employees boasted a $770 million payroll. The regional economic impact is in the billions. Virginia Beach and state leaders fought to keep Oceana. We worked for eight months to come up with an excellent plan. A plan for the city and state to spend $15 million a year to buy property in high-risk crash zones. Meanwhile, Jacksonville, Florida voters helped out, saying no to a referendum to reopen Cecil Field. Base. Jacksonville is not interested in the master jet base. Two battles won for the beach, but the war to keep Oceana open is not over yet. <laughs> Brack also voted to silence these big guns when closing the Army's Fort Monroe and Hampton. Peninsula leaders say hundreds of jobs will be lost, but their confident developers will want a shot at the acres of prime bayfront property and tourists may flock to the historic fort. Screams of joy from loved ones as sailors aboard the USS George Washington returned to Norfolk after a two-month deployment in May. But there may have been screams of pain when Norfolk learned the Navy was transferring the carrier and some 3,000 sailors to Japan, possibly in 08. Something this awesome, this awe-inspiring, has an incredible impact on any area of the world that it's in. There was some consolation for Norfolk. It learned the USS George H.W. Bush, being built in Newport News, may replace the GW. Congress must still decide. Don Roberts, Wavy News 10. The roller coaster ride of Brack and Ford are not over. The economic impact will be felt in 2007 and many years to come. Count on us to follow those stories in the new year. Straight ahead, Americans forced to evacuate Lebanon. Ten of your side was there as troops came to the rescue. I don't even know what it says. It'll make me cry on camera. Well. This, is, this is just a blessing. I just but right after the break, see how you helped others in the community in a very big way. As I stand here in the middle of Farm Fresh, surrounded by food, there are many people in Hampton Roads who are hungry. Hunger is a year-round problem that sadly is growing. But with your help, there is a solution. While you're shopping at Farm Fresh today, buy a few items tagged most needed for the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank. Then place them in the collection bin. 
Or you can buy a prepackaged grocery bag. Together we can fight hunger. Farm Fresh, your community-minded store. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service owes a great deal of our success to the people of Hampton Roads. And in order to give back to the community we serve, we continue to work with Wavy TV 10 as a partner on your side. Every year we collect thousands of coats and school supplies for children in need. We encourage the good doing of our youth. We pay tribute to outstanding volunteers. And in the face of the unexpected, we do whatever we can to help. And as a proud member of our community, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service looks forward to joining Wavy TV 10 for yet another year as a partner on your side. Town on Your Side brings you news that fits your lifestyle. Convenient early evening coverage, bringing you the news when you want it. Anytime between 5 and 6.30, switch to Wavy News 10 for more breaking news and On Your Side investigations. Plus, you're never more than a few minutes away from Don Slater's live Super Doppler 10 forecast. And Chopper 10 brings you closer to the news than anyone. More convenient, more coverage, more news when you want it. Wavy News 10 at 5, 5.30 and 6 on your side. Just a few minutes ago, we shared with you the power of 10 on your side. Our dedicated team of reporters works hard to uncover the truth. But we can attribute much of our success to you, the viewer. Cheryl Tan shows us now how in 2006 you really stepped in to show your help. Walking hand in hand in wedded bliss, the Escaleras could be a couple without a care in the world. It took your help to get them to smile like this. I am very thankful for Miss Eileen for donating my dress and his tuxedo. That was a very good blessing from her. I am so thankful. Her dress, his tuxedo, were just two critical possessions lost in a fire just one day before they were to walk down the aisle. Eileen Originals in Virginia Beach offered to dress them in style. To be able to help somebody like you, it, that, that's important. It really is. It's good to know that there are people out there that do care. People like Mike Andrews reached out after seeing pictures of Melissa Cluster's car, the woman's temporary home, after her apartment flooded during Ernesto. He opened the doors to his home and offered much of what was inside to Cluster and her two kids. Whenever I've needed the good Lord's bless me, and you're supposed to love your neighbor like you love yourself. I don't even know what it says. It'll make me cry on camera. Well, this is this is just a blessing. I just can't even believe this. Thank you so much. My, I could never my, thank my you pleasure. Enough. In 2006, 10 on your side viewers also made a difference for people they couldn't see. Old income tax returns. They helped protect themselves from identity theft at the last of three shredded events and brought 8,000 pounds of food canned goods, bags of rice, and boxes of cereal to fill the shelves at the food bank of the peninsula and southeastern Virginia. Project Elder Cool was designed specifically to reach out to the seniors and disabled in our community. Ten on your side viewers also helped needy seniors beat the heat this summer. Your donations allowed Project Elder Cool to offer an AC unit to 93-year-old James Brinkley and anyone else who needed one. I sure appreciate it. And that's what we like to hear. We know we'll see more of your generosity in 2007. Cheryl Tan, 10 on your side. And 10 on your side with your help will continue to make a difference in the new year. In 2006, we profiled people who made a big impact on our community. 10 on your side's Andy Fox takes us along with My Hampton Roads. <laughs> My Hampton Roads began with Red Hawk, chief of the Cherenhawka Nottaway Indian tribe. About the rich heritage that we have in Hampton Roads, uh, not only of Native First Americans, but African Americans, Colonial Americans, etc. Red Hawk is Walt Brown on the Southampton County Board of Supervisors, and he wants his county to become a tourist destination for First American history. We went oystering with Pocosin born Sid Inslee, who's only been to Virginia Beach once. Thank you guys so much. Keep up the great work. Tom Swanson employs mentally challenged adults. When Portsmouth attorney Van Lefko died, his wife Sandy had to do something with his magnificent suits. So she began Suited for Success, clothing for the working poor like Regina, who's about to go on a job interview. We met the fascinatingly successful Jackie Zell. 
Ezel began Zell Technologies in his home. Now it's one of the largest minority-owned businesses in Virginia, and Zell is the lead consultant for security at the Virginia Port Authority. Mark Hoggard and therapy dog Abby took us to the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, where they worked their magic, bringing calm and joy to children who need a lot of each. If you go to Yorktown, you'll find Walt Akers, who leads a core of 70, 10 to 18 year olds, the fifes and drums of Yorktown. Dick Powell's crusade to help the homeless. And I took like a $8,000, $10,000 drop in pay to take this job, but I've never been happier. And so began Dick Powell's Judeo-Christian outreach. Because Jane Hobbs refused to go away, the mentally challenged have Special Olympics and a strong political advocate in Richmond. These are all spectacular people who've made Hampton Roads a better place to live. I'm Andy Fox, and this is all of ours, My Hampton Roads. I'm Alvita Ewell. In 2006, you stepped in in a very big way. You donated 50,000 school supplies, helping kids all over Hampton Roads start their school year. And just this past October, as part of 10 on Your Side's Girl Scout Food Drive, you donated about 117,000 pounds of food for the area food banks. We're still collecting coats for kids until January 1st, but so far, you have helped more than 3,000 kids keep warm this winter season. We certainly couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for all of your generosity in 2006. Antenna Your Side was there to help you stay connected with your family and your community with some great shows and specials. Carrie Fury explains. We tackled some tough topics on Kid Talk in 2006 and also had a lot of fun. We had discussions on everything from dealing with a classmate who has cancer or another serious illness or disability to patriotism and slang and music, television in the hallways at school. Our friends from Nauticus, the National Maritime Museum, dropped by for some fun experiments and we had a wild time with the folks from the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. Our commitment to educational programming for the kids continued with Battle of the Brains, showcasing local high school students right rising to the challenge of a pressure-filled quiz show hosted by David Nelson. On Sunday mornings, Don Roberts got the bottom line on community and cultural events with guests from right here in Hampton Roads bringing awareness to the issues affecting us right now. And Don stayed committed to his passion of helping children with his weekly series, Wednesday's Child, proving what a difference a mentor can make. We look forward to another year of great family programming in 2007. In Hampton Roads, we have felt and grieved the loss of those who lost their lives fighting for our freedom. Coming up, we remember their faces, their names, and their sacrifices. Right now, at Green Gifford's premier event, take advantage of the best incentives on 2006's all year. It's all about the best at Green Gifford Chrysler Jeep Dodge near the airport, Norfolk. So long, farewell, I'll be you saying goodbye. I hate to go and leave this pretty sight. So long, farewell, I'll be the same adieu. Adieu, adieu to you and you and you. Goodbye. Say goodbye to the 2006 models with up to 3,000 cash back or visit Kia.com. By the time this commercial is over, the tax laws will have changed again. Log on to Wavy.com for expert advice from Jackson Hewitt, Wavy TV's expert on your side. You've seen the headlines. Priority bought the Suzuki dealership at Greenbrier. Now it's Priority Suzuki and we're open for business. Priority is selling all leftover Suzukis below factory prices because we didn't buy them from the factory. We've got plenty of everything Suzuki makes. The hot, hot Grand Vitar, dozens of the Aereo XL7, Reno, and the exciting SX4. Why, during this closeout sale, you can buy a brand new 2006 Suzuki Forenza for as little as $10,988. Get your Priority Suzuki now at below factory prices because we didn't buy them from the factory. New Priority Suzuki, South Military Highway at Greenbrier. You're not just a fan, you're a football fanatic. You wear your favorite player's jersey to work on game day. You bought a Chevy Tahoe in your team's colors. And we know you fantasize about winning the championship. Well, now you can. Sign up for the Chevy Redskins Home Team Challenge and play fantasy football for free at wavy.com. Each week's winner receives an authentic Redskins jersey, and the champion takes home an authentic Redskins helmet. The Redskins Home Team Challenge, brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. It's that time of year again, when you'll find exceptional values on your favorite Lexus vehicles. The Lexus, December to Remember sales event.
2006 was another year at war. We at Telling Your Side want to remember those who touched lives in Hampton Roads and were lost in the fight for freedom. You just saw the faces of those who didn't come back from the war. This year, several military members who called Hampton Roads home lost their lives in service to our country. The war in Iraq continued to dominate the headlines in 2006, and Ten Your Side packed up and traveled overseas to bring you complete coverage of our troops in action. As fighting continued in Lebanon this summer, the Navy and Marines jumped into action. Americans were ferried to Cyprus first by helos. Okay, you're gonna go home now, you ready? Then the USS Gonzales led the larger evacuation effort. The Norfolk-based Iwo Jima Expeditionary Strike Group deployed on June 6th and during its travels helped evacuate 14,000 American citizens from Lebanon. It turned out to be a huge evacuation accomplished in just days. Ten on your side was there, making you a witness to it all. People who had hit their limits sought out help, and the military responded with warm, open hearts, even when they weren't always appreciated. I think the Americans can do a lot better than this. It's like we were expecting something better than that. Yeah, a cruise ship or something. This is uh, like traveling on a garbage boat. Others, including this Newport News native, were more thankful. I can't even tell you how delighted we were to see the Marines and the, and the ships coming. It was an unreal experience because we had been waiting so long with no word. Thank you for saving our lives. Almost every one of my crew says, you know, this is the most meaningful thing that they've ever done in their entire career. And, in, and some people say in their entire life. <laughs> And meaningful for Hampton Roads families here, those emotion-filled homecomings. Now that's a way to end a year. The war continues as we move into 2007, and you can count on Wavy News 10 to bring you continuing coverage. 2007 is just days away, and 10 on your side is already working on stories for you in the new year. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for 2006, a year on your side. We hope you have a safe and happy holiday season and look forward to seeing you next year. Good night. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service owes a great deal of our success to the people of Hampton Roads. And in order to give back to the community we serve, we continue to work with Wavy TV 10 as a partner on your side. Every year we collect thousands of coats and school supplies for children in need. We encourage the good doing of our youth. We pay tribute to outstanding volunteers. And in the face of the unexpected, we do whatever we can to help. And as a proud member of our community, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service looks forward to joining Wavy TV 10 for yet another year as a partner on your side. Ah, softer. Introducing new Charmin Ultra. It's not just new, it's better. It's softer. So you'll want more. But so absorbent, you can use less. You can use less because it's more absorbent than the regular quilted brand. Now softer than before, less is even more. Try new Charmin Ultra. Best for bare bottoms. Automatic wipers that adapt to the uncontrollable. 
a rear view camera that adapts to the unexpected. Stability control that adapts to the unpredictable. Ultimately, a vehicle that adapts to you. The Lexus RX 350 with all wheel drive. See Charles Barker Lexus Newport News and Charles Barker Lexus Virginia Beach. In the lush, mile high mountains of southwest Mexico, Javier Suarez transforms timbers of walnut, rosewood, and mahogany into furniture for the presidential palace. In Los Angeles, draftsmen craft bold new designs. California modern furniture. From South America to the Orient, Paris to Milan, the world is exploding in a renaissance of fine furniture design. We're still putting the finishing touches on our new store. For a glimpse, our sneak preview is Saturday. The new North Carolina.